All right, what's up everybody? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to become an actor with three different ways, three different approaches for you if you're just starting out and you're wondering, look, I want to be an actor, but I don't know what to do. I have no clue. I've tried Googling it. I've tried going on YouTube. I need an answer for myself, but I also need something that's simple, easy to digest so you can understand it and you know your options at your disposal. So we're going to make this super easy for ourselves. Point number one is this, self submissions now what is self submissions well self submissions is when you the person who wants to go and be an actor and be seen and try to be on some of these different projects that are available out there is you go and you find these auditions for yourself on a casting platform now when you go to these platforms there's a few different ones out there one of the most popular ones happens to be backstage backstage is popular because you get to see right now everything that's available whereas some of these other platforms you don't get to see ahead of time what is always available or maybe they show you a small chunk or you get to see more with backstage now at the end of the day if you want to use one of these platforms to submit for a project you will have to pay for it every time i mention this everybody goes wait a minute i have to pay to use a submission platform i hate it i don't like it i wish we would never have to go and pay but at the end of the day these submission platforms in order to be able to run and operate do have to go and get paid but some of the big ones are backstage actor access casting frontier again this is the approach if you want to go and look through all the listings that are available and submit for yourself now the other option that you have is this this is option number two you have to go and get representation for yourself so representation can be either going and getting an agent or going and getting a manager now whether or not you go and get an agent or you go and get a manager at this point it doesn't really matter that much are there differences yes but they can both go and submit you for projects which is actually one of the most important things for you because you want to go and try and be in netflix on amazon on hulu on disney but you have to have someone to go and submit you for these projects now the advantage of having representation over self-submitting for yourself is that representation they happen to get a listing of all the big projects that are available whereas when you self-submit for projects you do not get a listing of every big project available you get a listing of a lot of projects but not some of the big ones like disney or netflix or hulu or amazon whereas your representation your agent or your manager 24 7 gets access to them all the time so at the end of the day you will at some point in your career want to get representation for yourself but whether you do that now whether you do it later whether that's capable for it to happen for you now that's all a question of your circumstances and you have to figure that portion out for yourself but this is another option for you in your career now point number three is this it's going and creating your own projects because listen to this real quick you want to go and get seen as an actor that's the ultimate goal if you're a great actor but you're in your bedroom and nobody sees you nobody knows who you are it's really hard for you to ever go and get booked nobody's going to come knocking on your door saying hey i got a big movie do you want to go and be a part of it it's not going to happen so you want to be able to be seen and be known how do you do this you can go and try to create it all on your own do everything by yourself very hard to do and there's going to be a lot of things that you just don't know how to do with maybe it's lighting maybe it's finding the right locations maybe it's writing the script maybe whatever it is there's going to be a lot that you do not know for yourself so part of what you have to do is go and make connections for yourself finding the right people who know how to go and direct and use lighting and use sound and use all of this how do you go and find these people well if you have a college that's near you sometimes you're going to find a lot of people who like to go and study film people who are directors or lighters or people who go and use sound you're going to find a lot of these type of people who are there if you can start to connect with them you start to build a friendship and a relationship with them and you mention to them hey look at i really got this project that i really want to do is it possible that we can somehow work together get this project going and if you have a great idea and you have a great project then great you can move forward and you can start building that and then what you do from that point once the whole project is all finished up then what you go and do is you go and put it on either social media platforms so you can put it on youtube put it on instagram put it on tiktok wherever you want to put it for people to go and see it or you can also go and submit it for festivals and then see if it does well there now i will say this point point number three does happen to be the hardest point out of all of them because you have to go and create your own projects and that is not an easy thing to do but it is an option and it is something that you can do for yourself if the other two don't work for you or you want to do it in tandem with the other two my job is just to go and give you the options that you have yes some are easier some are harder but these are the options and it's important for you to know that now if you want to go and improve more on your acting and develop more on your craft go ahead and check this video out all right see you guys